Hi guys and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my new blog post, blog post 7. And in this blog post, I'm going to provide you an overview about the Power BI desktop installation or to simply put Power BI installation. So let's start. Uh, Power BI basically supports various Windows uh, oper operating systems, namely Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2012, Windows Server 2012 R2, and Windows 10. And Microsoft Power BI support all of these systems. And also you need to have Microsoft .NET Framework 4.5.2 and above for in order to install the Power BI. So how you can actually install the Power BI. So it's quite easy. Uh, to simply put, you just only need to paste this link, uh, powerbi.microsoft.com slash en-us and in your web browser. And then you need to, and this page will be opened up. Uh, this is the default page of the Microsoft Power BI uh, website. And from there, you need to go to the products and no, you need to click on the Power BI desktop. So here you can actually uh, see the downloading options and the language options that you would like to use as an installation. And also you can click directly on the download fee. It will uh, download, it will give, uh, it will go to the downloading page for the Microsoft Power BI, which is actually in the English language. So I'm just clicking on this one, download fee. And it asked me about like uh, the setup is, uh, which shall be opened by the Microsoft store. So I will click on, I have clicked on the Microsoft store, uh, store page and it will move to the Microsoft page. And there you will see the install button. Now here, I would like to tell you about few things. I'm just stopping here and I need to let you know about few things about the Power BI desktop installation. On Microsoft Store, you should have your own Outlook account or Hotmail account. You need to sign into the Microsoft Store and after that, you shall be able to install the Power BI desktop. So if you get this kind of a prompt, like you need to sign in, um, and if you don't have any sign up information or sorry, sign in information, you need to sign up for the Microsoft. So a simple Microsoft Outlook account or the Hotmail account will be sufficed in order to install the Power BI desktop. This is a pro tip. So here uh, you can actually go ahead and take some overview about the Microsoft Power BI desktop that is actually provided by the Microsoft. Uh, you can also go ahead and check the latest system requirements that are actually being provided by the Microsoft uh, right now. So right now it is giving me the recommendation as per my uh, PC, but my, uh, if you have the Windows 8 or Windows 7, that will also work. You can also go ahead and check out the reviews. Uh, 3.8 is actually a fair review. It's a quite a good review. Uh, and I am expecting um, like it's it shall be it shall go up in near future because Power BI Microsoft is actually releasing lots of features uh, on monthly basis. So it's a very good device. Uh, sorry, it's a very good uh, software in order to create the dashboards. So uh, if you have the Microsoft account. Like I do have, uh, I have created a one Power BI one desktop one Power BI desktop one at the rate of hotmail.com uh, only to install this Power BI, uh, Power BI desktop software. So if I have that, that, that one, I, um, I have a simple one Hotmail account. So I have utilized this one to sign up. Otherwise you can also add your work or school account. So it depends upon you that how you will actually choose it. Uh, once you will have that, uh, you can actually go ahead and click on the install button. So once uh, it will be uh, it will be installed, uh, 
it will take uh, like half an hour and uh, to install. So it's a quite huge setup, like around about like 557 MB. Uh, so it will download it, uh, it will be downloaded and then it will be uh, installed. So the installation will be, uh, and, and, and guess what you don't need to like, uh, 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 like you need don't need to go for the prompts different prompts in order to install once it will be downloaded it will automatically install the power bi desktop and see uh, and it will ask you to uh, launch the product so i right here i'm just click i will click on the launch and microsoft power bi may, has been launched here so let me showcase it to you so this is the power bi desktop environment uh, so uh, if you would like to if you are using uh, power bi pro so you uh, for that you need to sign in otherwise if you would like to play around on your desktop you would like to create reports then you can fairly use this uh, environment in order to create your reports and dashboards. So in my next uh, session, I will provide you with the view about the Power BI desktop. I will give you a walkthrough about the Power BI dex uh, desktop in which uh, you will get the information about what this these different toolbars or the, how to interact with this uh, the various environment environmental factors. So I hope so you have understood the concept about how to install uh, the Microsoft Power BI desktop. Uh, and thanks for watching my video. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel, Yasser Fazal. And please do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you should get the latest video as soon as it is uploaded. And as always, please spread the knowledge. Thank you.